The Congress in Gujarat seems to be up against fresh problems with its potential allies, the Patidars, even as it announced its first list for the coming assembly polls late last night. Angry Patidar community members protested outside the Congress offices as they said some of their colleagues had been included in the Congress list without consent. Prominent among these were two aides of Hardik Patel. कल सुबह जान के हम कांग्रेस का समूह के विरोध करेंगे कांग्रेस के लोगों का विरोध करेंगे जो अपनी जिम्मेवारी से दूर भाग रहे से उसका समर्थन करने में सोचने की और लोगों को बोलेंगे कि भाई सोचना पड़ेगा क्योंकि एक जवाबदार है लोग अभी रात को भी हमें जवाब नहीं दे रहा एक सामान्य बाबत में भी हमें आंसर नहीं दे रहा वो हमारी बात क्या सुनेगा क्या हार्दिक को कन्वेट किया गया था जी हार्दिक को कन्वेट किया गया था हार्दिक की परमिशन से ही बात हो रही है बस कल हमारे कोई भी पटेल जो कैंडिडेट है उनको बोलेंगे की आप नामांकन नहीं भरे अगर वो नामांकन भरेंगे तो उसका विरोध करेंगे In a dramatic turn of events, the Patidar Anamat Andolan Samiti, which just some hours back had claimed that it had entered into a deal with the Congress on the reservation issue, has turned against the Congress Party. I'm right now outside the Congress office, and if you can see, it has been shut down after threats by pass that is going to uh, close down all, uh, it will force down uh, closure of all Congress offices across the state. This, after the names of two. Uh, Uh, senior past leaders appeared in the Congress uh, list. Uh, uh, Lalit Vasoya and uh, Nilesh Patel, uh, these two figure uh, leaders appeared in the Congress list and that's what seems to have antagonized uh, the uh, past members. They allege uh, that their names were not in, were included without taking past leaderships into confidence and in fact, uh, uh, even in Surat, uh, their, uh, the, the offices of uh, the Congress were vandalized. As you can see behind me in the Andhava the office a huge posse of police personnel have been deployed here to prevent past violent activists who have threatened that they will attack uh, the congress offices they have uh, these security personnel have been deployed around the congress office in ahmedabad to ensure that no uh, past activist arrives here uh, to target these offices so uh, and also senior police officials uh, have uh, you know been deployed in uh, outside the residence of uh, bharat singh solanki the president of uh, the gujarat uh, congress to ensure that no untoward incident happens past uh, leaders including dinesh bambaniya had in fact stormed into his house and demanded explanation on why their names the leaders and the names of the leaders were included in the list they alleging that they were not taken into confidence their talks with congress was only limited to the reservation issue but they had not given their consent on inclusion in the congress final list and as you can see it has turned into a, a full blown battle between uh, the pas and the congress in fact just a dramatic turn of events just few hours back we were told there is a deal between the congress and the pas on the reservation issue but with the first list of 77 candidates being declared that is what resulted in a huge controversy with the pas claiming that they were not kept in the loop as you can see more police personnel rushing here to uh, the gpcc office here in ahmedabad to ensure that there is uh, no untoward incident here because there have been threats these offices will be targeted across the state in ahmedabad with camera person network parmar rohit ban for ndtv